Hi guys, it's Priscilla and welcome to my channel. Today I've created this flirty, feminine, uh, glossy eye uh, makeup look. Uh, it's really nice, it's quite a kind of uh, neutral, uh, glam, uh, daytime look. And the stars of the show are the Maybelline the Blush Nude Palette as well as the Maybelline Master Strobing Sticks. So uh, if you want to know uh, how I got this look, please keep on watching. Also don't forget to like, subscribe and stalk me on my social media. And also kindly in the comments tell me what you would like to see next. Until next time, stay blessed and beautiful. Bye guys. Okay guys, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fill in my eyebrows with an eyebrow pencil. I'm now going to take my LA Girl HD Pro Concealer. I'm going to clean up under my brows with an angled brush. And then I am going to pull that concealer down and using my fingers, I'm going to blend it over my entire eyelid as this is going to serve as my eyeshadow primer. Next I'm going in with this Wet n Wild Contour Palette and I'm setting everything with the Yellow Tone Powder and then I'm going in with a metallic pink cream eyeshadow base only on my eyelids. Taking my bronzer, I'm going to use this as my transition shade and I'm going in windscreen wiper motions into my crease. Now I'm taking the taupe colour from the Maybelline Blush Nude Palette and I am applying it to the outer V of my eye, edging it slowly into the eyelid and taking a clean blending brush and buffing out any harsh edges. I've taken the rose deep rose shade and I'm packing that onto my lid. I'm being careful not to touch the taupe shade that I applied first. And I'm taking my transition shade and I'm buffing everything through so it's blended. Now taking the beautiful bronzy rosy shade from the palette, I am applying that to the inner two-thirds of my eye and I'm ensuring that it meets with the metallic row shade I laid down prior to this. I'm then taking the lighter shade in the palette and I'm highlighting my brow bone. Taking a diffusing brush, I am diffusing any harsh edges. I took my foundation a little bit too high, so I'm using the uh, highlight shade from that palette and uh, diffusing the excess eyeshadow. Now I'm taking my Maybelline primer and I am applying it to my face. As you can see, the consistency is very runny. I've massaged it into my face and it, all, it doesn't really leave too much of a white cast. Now I'm taking the strobing stick in 001 and I'm applying it to the center of my lid. And this is giving it that glazed, glossy effect. I'm then taking the darker shade from the Blush Nude Palette and I'm running that down my lower lash line before going in again with that light shade to highlight my brow bone. Now onto lashes. The struggle was so real with these today. This wasn't my lash day. My lash game was not strong. But eventually I got them on before I went on to Tightline with a black 
fragile pencil. I'm now trying to get all of this foundation onto my palette and I'm applying it all over my face making sure I run it down my neck so everything matches then I'm taking a beauty blender and I'm blending everything through so everything looks seamless Taking my Allego corrector in yellow, I'm highlighting just under my eyes, uh, around my mouth and my forehead and I'm blending it through. I've decided to go for a bit of a subtle highlight today and taking that yellow shade from the Wet n Wild contour palette and setting all the highlighted areas. Time to warm up the skin. I'm taking my bronzer in a 3 formation and warming up the face. Now I'm taking uh, an essence powder. I'm not sure about the shade, but I will leave it down below. And I'm using an angled fluffy brush to contour my nose. And I'm taking some bronzer and I'm running it down my lower lash line. Now taking the darkest 003 golden shade, I'm warming up the product on my finger and I'm dabbing it on the high points of my cheeks. So on my cheekbone, I'm dabbing it slightly and then I am building it up. Taking my beauty blender, I am making sure everything is blended going in with a little bit more I'm going on the high points of my cheeks and I'm also taking it on my brow bone to add some extra glow and I'm also putting it down the bridge of my nose and that's the glow taking the second strobing stick 002 I am applying it to my inner corners and I'm allowing that to meet the center of the eyelid before going in with a new pencil taking some mascara I am now applying some blush I'm lining my lips with a, a smudge lip liner this is a dupe for Max Wool I, will, I recently did a dupe video I will link that down below for you and I'm now going to take this gorgeous L'Oreal lip palette it's in the nude uh, shade and I'm mixing a couple of shades and I'm going to use the lip brush that comes with it and I'm going to fill in my lips the shades are absolutely stunning in this little palette I highly recommend it if you can get your hands on it Now for the final step to intensify that glow and set the makeup. I'm using this Maybelline setting spray and I'm dousing myself. Whew, that spray was real. And there you have it. Checking that glow. Yes, we are glistening. Glossy eyes. Hope you enjoyed. Bye, guys. I recently got some Maybelline products and I wanted to uh, show them off. And I have created this kind of really glossyish eye. 